Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group D. And yes, we got some exciting matches for you to go through here. I don't know why I'm talking in this accent, but I just feel like it, mate. So yes, up first we are going to see a big game between the Thunderstorm and Gypsy Danger. A win for Gypsy Danger will take them through to the last 32. A win for the Thunderstorm will put them above Gypsy Danger. Provided Gypsy Danger doesn't get a losing bonus point. And then, another big game at the bottom between Gecko and the Champions team. It's win or bust for I, for both of these combatants. And then, a clash at the top between Alti Gozzi and Ultima Dino Queen. Really looking forward to that matchup. But first, got two matches to go through first. Starting off with the Thunderstorm against Gypsy Danger. Right the over. Let me turn up the volume real quick. In the red corner, for the Thunderstorm, it is Pentaceratops. A win for the Thunderstorm guarantees them at least 4th place, I think it does anyway. What I do know though, is a win for Gypsy Danger will guarantee their place in the last 32. Rugox in the blue corner, and yes, someone might be making a Rugox for Jurassic World Evolution 1. Not 2, 1. <laughs> yeah, it's taken some doing, but... I'm slowly getting, I'm slowly getting back to making, I'm, I'm finally having, getting time to make mods, which is awesome. Because I still have unfinished business with Evolution 1. But anyway, enough about that. Oh, what a start from Gypsy. It's the banana surprise, and the Pentaceratops is in for a surprise. Oh, look at that damage. Wow, Rugops, like... Let's just look at the Rugops. It's so inaccurate in Dinosaur King. Like, it's, an, it's basically a relative of the Carnotaurus, right? And you know the Carnotaurus has, like, stubby little arms, right? Like, the Rugops' arms are completely wrong. It should have stubby little arms, and in fact, it should not be that big. It should not be as big as it is in this game. Although, I will say, in defense of Sega, you know, Rugops was... The size of Rugox was a bit, was a lot bigger than we actually now think it is. Because I believe it was in Planet Dinosaur as well. And you saw it, and it was a relatively sizable dinosaur. You know, obviously it was dwarfed by the Spinosaurus, but it was still a big, still a decent sized dinosaur on the size of Carno in terms of actual size. But now we know it's a lot, it was a lot smaller. But anyway, enough about the Dinosaur King inaccuracies in this game. And, well, speaking of Rugops, it's got given Gypsy Danger a 1-0 lead. And the Thunderstorm not looking good at all. Wow, like, I didn't expect this from Gypsy Danger at all. Like, given how the first match against Gozzi went, like, Gypsy Danger looked really out of it in that matchup. But ever since that defeat, he's really come on strong. And again, as I said, a win will take them through to the last 32. Oh my goodness, there's another Sonic Black. What is this thing's technique? It's 500. Rugops looking really strong. Oh, well, um, this is quite one-sided so far, which is not what I like. Broken neck from... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> um, I, I, I shouldn't laugh for you. This is not good for the Thunderstorm. Well, here's Nodosaurus. Probably going to die to the Rugops as well. Ugh. But I, 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 I'm sorry. I can't help if the matches are one-sided. But it is what it is. If random number generator wants to be an ass, then it will be an ass. It does what it wants, when it wants. Please don't be paper. Oh, thank God for that. Thunderstorm getting a hit. Well, I will say, we have seen some comebacks in this tournament. Could we see another one? Ah, maybe we are going to see another one. The Thunderstorm finally putting up a fight. In fairness, now that I think about it, Gypsy Danger has only really had three hits. Two of them being a crit, and then obviously getting off a few Sonic Blasts, so... While Gypsy Danger has a sizable lead, you know, it's... 
He has had a bit of luck with the Sonic Blasts. Well, it won't be a 3-0 win. The Rugot's finally going down. Can the Thunderstorm pull this back? Okay, as for Gypsy Danger's second Dino is yet another uh, Abelosaurid. It's Abelosaurus. Which is oddly a fire dinosaur for some reason and not a wind dinosaur. Bing, bing, bing. Of course, Ragosaurus is also an Abelosaurid and it's a fire dinosaur as well. But don't get me started on the inaccuracies of that thing. That thing is just horrifically inaccurate. <laughs> uh, not as bad as Mega Raptor, but just almost pretty much just as bad. But anyway. Look at this from Nodosaurus. Giga Rock Armor, maxed up defense boost. Can the Thunderstorm come back? Has the momentum? Oh, but it's Magma Blaster! And this is gonna do significant damage to the Nodosaurus, even though it's maxed up with defense boost. Yeah, look at that. Even with defense boost, it couldn't be saved from a major fraction. Come on, Nodosaurus, you can do it. Can you pull it back? Wait, hang on a minute. I just realized something. Like, this is Evolution 2 related. Is Nodosaurus in Jurassic World Evolution 2? I don't think it is. Maybe they're saving it for a DLC? Wow. Look at this from Nodosaurus. Pulling it back for the Thunderstorm. And... Gypsy Danger is denied the bonus point win. Although, one hit from Gypsy Danger will win it for them. So, you know. I wouldn't say the Thunderstorm is in with a good chance of winning, but at least they're back in this. And can they snag a losing bonus point? They'll take some do it stopping this Amplosaurus though, but it's on. It's definitely on. Oh, no I, I, no, I think that's it. Well, for Gypsy Danger, it's a passage to the last 32. Oh, it's not! The Nodosaurus survived! Oh, well, he's not surviving this. <laughs> okay, now it's a safe passage to the last 32 for Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger booking his place in the last 32. And I think that will also put Ultima Dino Queen through as well. Ultima Dino Queen, the real pro. Going through without even playing. <laughs> but yeah, that's a crucial win in this group. As it means, LP God. Well, we all knew that Gozzy was going through. Ultima Dino Queen's going through. And now Gypsy Danger's going through. So yeah, that is our first matchup. Let's move on to our second matchup, which is a big game at the bottom to, between Gecko and the Champions team. Well, it's win or bust for these two. Win and they'll keep their hopes alive, lose, and they're out. Right, in the red corner, for Gecko, it's a Mega Raptor. Poor Gecko, like, I am genuinely surprised Gecko has yet to win a match in this tournament. You know, they, it's not as if they've been shredded in every match. They've They've done well. They've just been really unlucky with certain little moments going against them. Okay, in the blue corner for the champions team, it's the purple predator. It's the Sejuangosaurus. This, I should note that this Sejuangosaurus and Megaraptor do have history. As in the Wicked Wind tournament, the Sejuangosaurus defeated a Megaraptor on its journey to become champion of that tournament. Will history repeat itself, or will the Mega Raptor enact some revenge? Oh, the Sejuan gets the first hit. Um, well, here comes a tornado toss. Gecko getting off to a flyer. Well, after getting hit first. Smash! <laughs> yeah, this Mega Raptor's counter type, by the way, in case you didn't know, but Dino Illusion getting triggered. However, Sejuangosaurus is a tie away from being defeated. 
Speak of the devil. Mega wrapped again some... Oh, it's the revive. I, I forgot it's revival type. The Sejuanosaurus not done yet. Oh, well, it gets a hit. But again, the Dino Illusion is going to stop the damage. Sejuanosaurus clinging on. Will they get a cheeky hit off? Oh, it does! Lily and Q are coming into play, which means the Sejuangosaurus will be able to tank a tie. Well, well, well. Look at this turn around. Oh, oh, never mind. Megaraptor will indeed be getting his revenge on the uh, Sejuangosaurus for after what happened in the Wicked Wind tournament. And for those of you that are curious about what happened, you can check out the match up here. Okay then, as for the champions team second dino, it is Armatus, the recent winner of the Earthshakers tournament. Beautifully pointed out by the beautiful fool's cap. Yeah, this is a bit be interesting. Can this Armatus pull it back for the champions team or can Gecko extend their lead? Oh, Mega Raptor again, another hit. Can they do it? Spoosh. Ooh, Armatus getting a hit. Can the champions team pull it back? But the Mega Raptor's still alive and kicking. Oh well, the Mega Raptor's not alive and kicking now. Armatus getting the hit, finishing it off, poisoning it because why not? And even in the score. Okay then, here's a here's the wild child for Gecko. It's Alpha Gorgosaurus. We have seen what this guy can do, although we have yet to see a Deathfire, which I'm surprised at. Will Deathfire come clutch here for Gecko, or can the champions of the team stop it from happening just like everybody else did? Oh, it's a tie. Ties. I'd say favour the Gorgo, but it needs to get some tie bombs. Another tie. Oh, there's a tie bomb and a fire cannon. Can Gecko get their first win of this tournament, which would thrust them right back in the mix. I mean, now they're, prob they're not going to get top three, but they can get out of the group as one of the best fourth place teams. That's not. Don't forget that. Ooh, Armatus not done yet though, getting off a hit. Poisoning it as well. Of course. Right, death fire getting triggered, but oh, look, look it's, it's a waste. It's an absolute waste. Like, is if it is it if it's a tie that the death fire will go and the Armatus will die, it's a literal waste. Well, they're getting off the death fire! Good to see from Gecko, but again, it's wasted because Armatus would have died anyway. But it's nice to see. And yes, as per the rules, the next round will be a tie because Deathfire activated and you're only allowed to activate one Deathfire. Would have been much better to get off Deathfire on this para. So yes, we are Parasaurolophus, the victor of the Gracious Grass Tournament. The super resilient beast. I, I love Parasaurolophus' design in this. I love it, I do. Absolutely love it. Will it, pull, will it pull this match back for the Champions team, or can Gecko extend their lead? Well, as I said, this round will be a tie because the Gorgosaurus got off death battle, so... There it is. There's the tie. Now let's continue with normal number generation. Oh, another tie. Oh, the para gets the hit. And the champions team are pulling it back. 
Yeah, that, that death fire was wasted. At least you got it off, you know? At least you got it off. But again, it was a complete waste. Okay. I suppose that's the risk for death fire. It could be wasted or it can win the match for you. And in that case, it was wasted. Right. Let's forget the third dino is a Patagosaurus. Can this Patagosaurus get the job done for Gecko? Or will the Champions League... Ch Champions League... <laughs> Cut Champions League in my brain. Or will the Champions team's para get... Get the Champions team off and running in this tournament. Oh, it's a tie. See quite a few of those. Oh, the para gets the first hit. Not good for Gecko. Champions team in... Well, is he is even, but the Champions team have a very, very slender lead. And they're going to be extending that lead. Oh, is it going wrong for Gecko? Go on, Gecko. Go on, Gecko. You can do it. You can do it. Get the next hit. Get the next hit. Oh, it gets the next hit. Recovery coming in. Recovery will heal up the Patagosaurus by quite a bit. Over half, in fact. Champions team not guaranteed the losing bonus point yet. Oh, it's a tie. Okay, that should do it. And Gecko is also guaranteed at least a losing bonus point. Oh, but he got the hit. And this won't be enough to kill the para, but it will leave Gecko on the brick. Can they close this out? They can. There's the win. Gecko getting their first win of the tournament. The champions team, though, will get a losing bonus point. The Patagosaurus's HP was below half. But that's not going to be enough for the champions team, and it will be a group stage elimination for the only bot team in this tournament. But as for Gecko, it's a lifeline, and they've given themselves a chance to at least get up, well, to get that fourth place finish, but they'll, get, they'll need a big win in round five. All right then, now then, now the fun begins because our final match of this session sees a tabletop in clash between LP Gozzi and Ultima Dino Queen. Alpha Slash! Got a screenshot? <laughs> okay. Okay, in the red corner, for LP Gozzi, it is Terry. And yes, I managed to swipe Dr. Z this time because I forgot to last time. <laughs> I know, the aren't I? Yes. LP Gozzi safely through the last 32 now after earlier results. Also, Ultima Dino Queen is safely through the last 32 after, again, the earlier results. So, yeah. This is basically a clash to see who will finish this round. Top of Group D. In the blue corner for Ultima Dino Queen is a Eucharaptor. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, my mother came home, you see, and I, I, I've been waiting for a cup of tea because we had no milk. And mother came home, so I finally got my cup of tea. Right, anyway, back to the match. Hmm. This could be an intriguing matchup. Like, obviously, Gozzi has the type advantage here, and he has two fire dinosaurs, so it's going to be a tough start for Queen, but we'll see how well this Utah at the fears. And that is just the start the Queen would have wanted a banana surprise. Ooh, and it's going to get rid of Terry's move as well. Yep, bye bye, scissors. You know what that means? Queen will be going for a crit, but will Gozzi manage to get a tie? Oh, it's not! Oh, it's gonna be big! It's a Mayfly! <laughs> Ooh, well. Oh, the Medino Queen starting first. Oh, wow, look at that! Even with a type advantage! Terry! Two hits and he's almost dead! Absolute insanity! Oh, uh, well, Terry is dead. Gozzi yet to get a hit. Okay, as for Gozzi's second dino, we got an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, and I think we might actually see Gozzi's third dino for a change. I'll say that. What does Alpha Acro just completely sweep now? <laughs> well, it's got some work to do, because Queen has an unexpected 1-0 lead. And let's not forget, she has the dino illusion as well. This is going extremely well for Ultimate Dino Queen. Oh, but the acro gets there. Cause he finally again. <laughs> but I like st I, I, I malfunctioned. Cause he finally again ahead. 
Well, he can go for he can go for rock all he likes, cause he's got the protection of Dino Stuffer. Ooh, it's the poison, but there's the Dino Illusion. Ultimate Dino Queen still in a strong position. Ooh, is it a hit? But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, not too bad actually. Not not the worst I've seen. I'll give Uteraptor some props. Ah, never hit. Well, well, well. Ultimate Dino Queen faring really well against these fire types. Okay, there's the Dino Illusion gone. I think the sound effects for Seth might not be working. Seems weird. Can this Alpha Acro get Godzi back in the match? The answer to that is yes. I think this will kill you, Raptor. No, it won't. And, and another Dino Illusion, because of course. <laughs> Ultimate Dino Queen's Uteraptor is not going down yet. Okay, now it's going down. A tie, which is exactly what Gozzy would want, to kill Uteraptor and get himself back in this match. But you have to say, from Queen's perspective, a net gain there. You know, she has the lead, and she's taken out Terry and chipped away at the Alpha Acro, so the job is not as difficult as many would have feared it would be. Can this and that the Titan do a job like the Uteraptor did? We're just going to have to find out. <laughs> oh, oh it's a, there's the Dino Stuffer. We all knew it was coming. No crit from the Anata Titan. And there's the Dino Stuffer. Ooh, but... Has Gozzy stolen this match's momentum? This is gonna do damage. And we'll probably put Gozzy in the lead for the first time this match, yeah? Well, it's kind of even, but Gozzy has a very, 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 very slight lead. Oh, is it Ty? I think Ty's may favour the Acro. Oh, but. Ultimate Dino Queen gets the hit. Wow, this has been a really tight match. No surprise given that these two have won all their matches so far, but this Ford where Oh, the Acro's gone! And for the first time in this tournament, it's an LP Gozzi's third Dino, the Cryolophosaurus. Well, LP Gozzi for the first time in this tournament in real trouble. Ultimate Dino Queen definitely pushing him all the way. I should also mention, if I haven't mentioned it earlier, that a win for Gozzi here will guarantee that he tops Group D. A win for Ultimate Dino Queen, provided Gozzi doesn't get a losing bonus point, will put her top of Group D going into the final round. And it looks like Ultimate Dino Queen is going to win this match. Oh, look at this from Queen. Can she get a bonus point? Oh, it's a Ford Whip. Oh, no, no, nature's blessing this time. <laughs> All the Ford Whips this thing has got off compared to the nature's blessings is staggering. Oh, it's a tie. Well, Queen's guaranteed herself a losing bonus point. Ooh, I tell you what, though. The Crown of Asura is not dead and buried yet. And Gozzy gonna take out the Anata Titan. Oosh. Well, it might be a bit too late for Gozzy to win this, but you never know. As for Queen's third dino, it's Omega Eocarcaria. We've seen some comebacks in this tournament. Will we see another? Well, one hit from the Eocar will finish the job. Frozen Glide! Is Ultimate Dino Queen in trouble? LB Gozzy not done yet! Well, it's guaranteed himself a losing bonus point there, Gozzy. Should he need it? Oh, no, no, that's it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, though. The 
Crawlophosaurus put up one hell of a fight. And Gozzy did show a bit of defiance in the end and did snag himself a losing bonus point. But it is Ultimate Dino Queen making it four wins out of four. And that should be, well, it will be enough to top. Yeah, it should be enough to top Group D off the top of my head. But we'll find out when I when we check the table now. Well, look at the look how tight Group D as well. Yeah, safe to say. Well, it is 100% guaranteed that LP Gozzy, Ultima Dino Queen and Gypsy Danger will be in the last 32 round. But the top three will probably finish like this if I'm honest. Although, Ultima Dino Queen has got to play Gypsy Danger in the final round. And it could be important, and I should note out that I have actually done the matchups for the last 32 round, and I did post them in on the Discord. So you will get to know your opponent in advance this time, unless you're one of the fourth place guys, in which case I'll draw you in randomly. But I will also point out that you're not allowed to face anyone from the same group as you during the last 32 round. So, for example, say, say the Thunderstorm got through in fourth, then he would not be able to play any of these three. Now the last out of the way, yep. Yeah. There's group D, and as I said, top three going through for certain. And then it's a straight shot for these two to see if they can get through as one of the best fourth place teams. It's going to be tough because, well, I'm looking at the other groups right now and, well, put it this way, I think seven shots is in fourth place in group C right now and he has seven points. And Pilk is in 4th place in Group B and has 8 points. So, it's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. But as I said, a bonus point win and they go to 8 points. And you never know, 8 points might be enough. And I should point out, as I said earlier, these two do have to play each other in Round 5. So that is going to be a massive game. Of course, it could mean nothing in the end and they could both get knocked out. And yeah, poor old champions team... You know, we don't really care about the bot team. Hasn't really happened for it this time. ill -inimated. Oh, hang on, I better put the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to update the L there. Tee -hee. And the L by there. Because the Thunderstorm got defeated by Gypsy Danger. So, yeah, that is Group D, ladies and gentlemen. Fascinating group. Pretty much all but decided now as we head into the final round. But, yeah, that is Group D for round four. So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time where we will do round four for group E. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.